A little boy is attacked by a dog. Now the boy's family is facing hospital bills they can't afford to pay. But as Fox 2's Ronnie Dahl tells us, a group with a rough image is pitching in to help. The medical bills are mounting for the family of a little boy mauled by a pit bull. They never expected help to come from a group of bikers. I don't like pit bulls, but I like dogs. Dylan Brandymart is only five years old and has already experienced tragedy. He was playing with his grandfather's pit bull, Jewel, when out of nowhere, family members tell us the dog attacked, grabbing hold of Dylan's precious face. There's over 100 stitches between his cheek, inside of his nose, and then they had tape on some of them and super glue on some and it's it was pretty gruesome. The accident happened November 8th. The dog was put down immediately, but it will take Dylan a long time to recover from his facial wounds. The family has insurance, but the $3,000 deductible for reconstructive surgery is a lot of money for the laid off father to come up with. Financial support is coming from an unusual source, the vigilantes. We got kids. We got nieces and nephews and grandkids, and you know, what if that was your kid that was hurt? Mm -hmm. So, well, we'll do anything in the community, especially for children. Dylan has a book of well wishes from his classmates and the hearts of an entire motorcycle club to help get him through his next round of painful surgery. After the stitches and stuff, we went and seen a plastic surgeon and <laughs> said we gotta wait six, three to six months for it to heal completely before they can do any reconstructive surgery because the inside of his nose wasn't sewed up or proper, mm -hmm. so he doesn't have proper you know, nasal passage through there. The vigilantes will be holding a benefit in Detroit Saturday night to try and raise as much money as possible for Dylan. To find out more about the event, you can get the information on our website, myfoxdetroit.com. In Chesterfield Township, Ronnie Dahl, Fox 2 News.